the 15 days of foundation. If you guys are new here, this is where we are trying out a new foundation every single day for 15 days. There's only one day left. I am riding the struggle bus hardcore right now, but we can do it. It is 10.30 in the morning right now, and all I want is hot Cheetos in my life. I'm gonna link the playlist down below where you can watch days one through 13 if you missed any of them. But today we're talking about the Hourglass brand new Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. I wasn't originally planning on including this foundation in 15 days of foundation, but it came in the mail and I literally almost peed my pants when I opened this box. So I have two different shades of it and the brush here that they sent me. We're gonna be trying this guy out. So the foundation stick retails for $46. You only get 0.25 ounces of product in here. Just for comparison, the Cover Effects Click Foundation that we did, you get 0.25 ounces of product as well, and that one retails for $18. So this is pretty pricey. The Makeup Forever Stick Foundation has 0.44 ounces of product in it. Retails for $44. This one is $46 and you get about half the amount of product. So this is a super pricey product for what you're getting. So just keep that in mind. What I do like is that it comes in 26 shades, which rocks. So if you're a pale princess, there are four shades in the fair category. I'm gonna show you guys swatches of these two shades that I have compared to some of my other foundations. So here's the Hourglass Stick Foundation in Blanc. The next shade up is Alabaster. Right here is the Ulta Stick Foundation we did a review on. This is the Golden Rose Stick Foundation that we also did a review on. This is the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation in the lightest shade. Here we have Lancome Tint Idol Ultra in the lightest shade. And this is Hard Candy Glamouflage. So as you can see, this foundation is pretty freaking light. This one actually almost looks lighter than the Hard Candy Glamouflage, which is pretty hard to find. Looking at all these side by side, this one actually looks the most pink toned. It makes Hard Candy Glamouflage look super yellow. I really appreciate the shade range. I wish more products have this kind of shade range. They have three deep shades in here, a bunch of dark shades, a bunch of middle tone shades, and then we have our fair ladies up here. You can get the foundation online hourglass right now. It says it's supposed to be available on Sephora.com starting July 19th and in Sephora stores starting July 21st. So reading some of the claims on Sephora's website, it says it's a long wear foundation stick with the coverage of a concealer, fluidity of a liquid, and weightlessness of a powder for invisible full coverage. It's infused with double the amount of pigment versus traditional foundations for instant full coverage in one application. Long wearing waterproof formula provides 12 hours of coverage. Pretty sure we are going to have this foundation on for 12 hours today and I might be going in the water so we'll see if that waterproof claim is true. It says it has an innovative formula that adjusts to your body temperature. So that's pretty much all of the claims on there. As far as the packaging goes, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this triangle thing. I feel like it's a little bit awkward to hold and getting the lid on here, you kind of feel like you're a toddler where you have to stick those like shapes into a wood thing, you know? I do like that it's easy to travel with if you need to or just throw into your purse. If you like this video at any point and you're excited about 15 days of foundation, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see how this foundation applies and wears throughout the day, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. Woke up super early with a migraine. I took the pill. Feeling better now, hence why I can have a huge ass light in front of my face, but I feel super drowsy right now. I'm gonna prime half my face with Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Smoothing Primer. It does say to use the Hourglass, uh, one of their primers, but I don't have that, so we're just gonna use this primer on the right side of my face. On one side of my face, I'm gonna try their brush. This is a Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Brush. It retails for $46. It actually feels like a really nice brush. The stiffness kind of reminds me of the Sigma F82. And then on the other side, I think I'm going to try either the sponge or this e.l.f. brush that they usually use. I kind of want to do the e.l.f. brush so you guys can see if it's worth it for the brush and if it actually makes a big difference or not. So I have the shades Blanc and Alabaster here. Blanc is the lightest shade, then it goes Alabaster and Porcelain. So I'm going to try Blanc. Haven't swatched these or anything yet. So it comes in this triangle shape. I'm not sure how I feel about the triangle. It's kind of awkward to hold. I kind of feel like I have like a pencil. It says apply two to three dots of vanish to each section of the face, forehead, cheeks, and chin. So I watched their video online and you're supposed to like stamp it three times. You buff in with a brush and tiny circular motions for the most seamless finish. So I'm going to take wild guess and say that I'm going to need more than three triangles, but let's try the triangle method first. So, okay. One, two, 
three. So I'm going to take their brush on the right side of my face and start buffing. The brush feels super soft, so I'm definitely going to need more product. I'm wondering, I'm going to swatch the other shade because this one actually looks like it might be a little bit light. Okay, so there's actually quite a big difference between alabaster and blanc. I'm going to take a little bit of alabaster and I'm actually just going to apply this how I normally would a stick foundation, like brush this all over because that did not give me enough coverage. For me, alabaster is matching me a little bit better. Not totally full coverage for me yet, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. It's blending out really nicely with this brush. Looks pretty matte. I feel like we've done a ton of stick foundations in 15 days. Feels like I don't have a whole lot on. It's kind of setting. It does transfer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and try it with the e.l.f. brush. For full coverage for me, I obviously have to use more than three stamps, but this is pretty much how I draw on all of my other stick foundations to get the kind of coverage I like. Ooh. You definitely have to buff this one in. It's not like one of those that you want to like stipple. You really want to blend this one. Just the finish of this and how it's setting, I don't think I'm going to need a powder with this. I'm going to show you guys a close-up in a second, but I think these two sides look pretty much identical. I think you could definitely get away without buying the $46 brush and just go with this $6 e.l.f. brush or whatever this is. $3? Who knows? Alright, definitely just got that in my rug. Awesome. The shade is definitely light enough because I feel like even alabaster is a tiny bit off. I think once we have blush and bronzer and everything on, I'll look more alive. This is a little bit more of a matte finish than I usually like, but it covered really well. Prime side versus not prime side, I think looks pretty much the same. So right now it's 10 o'clock, I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Alright, so it's now 10, 12. I just did super simple makeup because I'm pretty sure we're just hanging out at the lake today. On my lips right now is Maybelline 755 Nude Thrill with this Wet n Wild Color Icon Gloss in Jack Yellow Mode. So, weird. So between the last time you guys saw me and now, it looks totally different to me. I didn't set my face with a powder. It basically looks like it totally warmed up to my face and it doesn't look matte at all anymore. Obviously I have highlighter on here, but even looking at my forehead, I feel like it looks like a totally different foundation. For what I personally prefer, I like it better now, but I'm hoping that it stays on and doesn't get oilier throughout the day. Yeah, it just feels totally different. Before you couldn't really feel it, and now it kind of feels like a dewy foundation. The thing I like is that when I went in to put on my bronzer and blush and everything, it was still that matte, powdery kind of feeling, so it was super easy to blend everything on top of it. As of right now, I'm liking how it looks everywhere except some of the dry patches on my forehead it is clinging on a little bit to the acne spots up here and just by my hairline some of the dry spots. So I'm going to show you guys a close up. It's not even showing up on camera as well, but there definitely is some dry stuff going on around here. It doesn't look bad on the forehead. I turned the ring light way down so you guys can see better. But yeah, I just feel like the finish looks totally different between now and the last time. Can't remember if I said the time, but we're gonna go with about 10.15 because it's now 10.26 and I just filmed the intro. Okay, so it is 3.30. Two people are sleeping in our living room right now, so I'm attempting to be quiet. But the foundation has been on for five hours so far and we just went kayaking. So Rach did tell me that the shade of this foundation looked too light on my body in natural lighting and I do kind of agree. Um, which is interesting because I've never in my life had the second to light a shade of foundation be too light. So I feel like that's a good problem to have. Both of the shades that I have aren't going to match me, but I'm not uh, super upset about that because honestly I'm not not liking this one. Oily, but also the texture I just feel like isn't that great. It looks pretty textured and kind of cakey in some areas, especially in natural lighting. For being only 5 hours in, this claims to be a 12 hour long wear foundation. I just feel like I'm pretty oily right now. 
I just don't think it looks that great. I just feel like I have other foundations and stick foundations that are like half the price that do much better of a job so far. I was wearing sunglasses so I have some sunglass lines right here. It's honestly looking a lot better under this ring light right now. So I took a clip when we were outside unicycling and things and as you can see the foundation just looks pretty horrible. Um, just kind of disappointing. Sorry the quality is crappy, this was shot on my iPhone, but I just wanted you guys to get an idea of the texture going on and just how bad it looks basically. Alright, so it is now 8.30 p.m. so the foundation's been on for almost 10 hours. Uh, not really liking this one. Really put this guy to the test. Uh, ended up unicycling today, juggling, kayaking, yeah casual but you saw all of that if you follow me on snapchat i was definitely sweating and like getting a workout and even when i wasn't like before any of this went down i just don't like the way this one looks i don't see how this is long wear because it's only been on for 10 hours and it looks oily i feel like it's breaking down on my forehead rach even admitted that it didn't look good at all it's clean to dry patches on my forehead, on the side of my hair. I have major crow's feet today. I don't know if that's from the foundation or what, but I usually don't get them that bad under my eyes. I just don't think this one is really worth it in my opinion. I'm trying to think of a skin type that I think this would be good on, but even on dry skin, I just don't think it looks that great at the end of the day. Even five hours after I applied it when I first checked in with you guys, I just think there's other more affordable foundations that look way better. If you do majorly struggle with finding a super 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 pale foundation, I think this is the lightest pink tone foundation I've seen in Blanc. I feel like usually I have a feeling when I could like a foundation and I want to try it with a different primer or powder or something to make it look better. In this one, I just don't really have that urge. I can't really pinpoint what it is about it. It's just, I just don't think it looks that great overall. This is just a pricey product and I just don't think it's worth your money. I think you can spend that $46 in a much better place. I will tell you that place when we do the 15 days of foundation wrap up where I'm going to rank all the foundations 1 to 15. Tomorrow is day 15. Let me know how you feel about that down below. If you guys like this video and you're excited for the last day of 15 days of foundation tomorrow, give it a thumbs up. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.